Bar Harbor, Maine is the gateway to Acadia National Park and lobster. In this video, we explore the port, the town, and renting an electric car and lobster. I'm Troy and this is the Port Lowdown. Bar Harbor is on Mount Desert Island in southern Maine, which includes Acadia National Park, one of the most visited national parks in America. The park is the main attraction here, but you can explore whale watching and lobster boat rides as well. There, I said lobster again. Look, it's Maine, and if you don't like that certain crustacean, well, it's like going to Alaska and not liking salmon. What are you going to do? Bar Harbor is a tender port, with the ship anchored discreetly behind Bar Island. Plan for about an hour between getting your tender ticket and arrival at the tender dock. The gateway sways a bit with the dock, so take care going up. You dock in a fairly small but well-maintained landing area at the wharf, which has a nice overhang for waiting tour groups. You can start using this line as well. Are you on a tour? Yeah. Okay, just start using this line here so you don't be in the rain. Large and clean toilets right at the pier. Several cute stores, including electric bike rental, and several tour companies also face the dock, all clustered together in a tight clutch. Ollie's Trolley, in particular, has a very visible footprint, with a booth here, as well as its main office and gift shop a few blocks away facing Main Street. Tour buses have a few reserved spots in front, but the street is small. Also here is a satellite office for Acadia Gem, the electric vehicle company we rented our car from. More on that later. You enter the town via West Street, where you'll find a small but pleasant promenade, and a tourist information booth. Plus some handy reminders you're in a cold place. Turn right on Main Street. Here's the main thoroughfare where you'll find the lovely Argamont Park, which overlooks the harbor, the tourist information office, two ATMs, First National Bank, and Bar Harbor Bank and Trust, and their version of Central Park, Village Green. Now there's additional stores and restaurants down Cottage Street, where you'll also find the local Walgreens, the Acadia Bike Rental Store, the local post office, and the Hannaford Supermarket. There's also a fine museum, the Abbey Museum, depicting life of the indigenous Wabanaki tribe. Associated with the Smithsonian, it's small, but it has beautifully presented interactive displays and galleries. It's well worth a look. The town is quintessential Americana, with cute being an overused phrase, but it fits. White picket fences, classic architecture, and, I'm not gonna say it, ice cream. Wait, there's lobster in that too? Jokes aside, you'll have more than your fair share of sweets, bars and burgers too. Now for the vital question, where are the public bathrooms? Here's a clue, not at Walgreens, <laughs> but there is quite a few here. In addition to the one at the tender dock, there's also one next to the Ollie's Trolley office at the parking lot along the pier. At Argamont Park, and on Firefly Lane adjacent to Village Green. Take care of the sidewalks, which can sometimes be uneven and narrow. I saw a wheelchair topple over at this corner, so just be aware. There's also a bit of an incline to climb up Main Street. The last town detail is the Island Explorer, a free shuttle bus that runs various routes at or near Arcadia Park. It's seasonal, running from late June to mid-October, and was closed when we got in. But I picked up some salient points from their website that's worth noting. It's strictly transport, no commentary provided. The bus fills up fast on cruise days, so plan your time carefully, especially when getting back. Remember, there's no rideshare here and very few taxis. And you need your own park pass before entering, paid ahead of time online. See the link in our description. What I can share with you is where to get the bus. It's at Village Green, specifically on the west side of Village Green, right here. It's a roughly five to 10 minute walk from the Tenderport. On our trip, we opted for renting a car to give us the most flexibility, especially since we had a group of five. Plus, we had a senior America the Beautiful pass. 
It's 80 bucks for a lifetime membership, which gives you access to all the national parks with either per vehicle entry or up to four people. So having our own wheels made sense. Why Acadia Gem? They're the only car rental company in town. They rent out electrics exclusively, mostly golf cart type vehicles that can seat two, four, or six. They're all in good condition. The upkeep is excellent. However, we wanted more interior room and easier accessibility to Acadia's famous Cadillac Mountain, since the golf carts had to climb pretty high up to reach it. Also, there are certain road restrictions that only apply to the golf carts. But they also had a few full electric vehicles, like the Chevy Volt. Stronger engine, higher range. The price was around $345, which was still cheaper than five ship excursion seats. So doing the math, our DIY cost around $70 per person, not including food. Book online as far in advance as possible. See the link in our description. The rental office is up Main Street, about a 15 minute walk from the port. They can also meet you at the tender dock and shuttle you there. My pickup process was very smooth and quick. The staff professional and helpful. Plus the dogs are way chill. By the way, if you're like us and enjoy being an independent and informed cruiser, hit us up with a like and consider subscribing. We post videos every week with port reports, ship tours, and tips. And thank you so much for all your views and support. We have a passion to serve the traveler. So our experience on the road was pleasant and probably a lot quieter since we were at the tail end of the season. The fall colors were radiant. A few notes. Acadia's Culls Hole Visitor Center is a great starting point amidst a beautiful setting. Maps, info, some displays, and bathrooms with water filling stations, of course. The most popular site is Cadillac Mountain, the highest peak on the eastern seaboard. You need to reserve a $6 slot for your car or golf cart if you're not on an organized tour. You must reserve ahead of time. Passes are not sold at the park. And this is additional to your park entry pass. It's needed because, although the summit area is large and spread out, parking is limited. But it's worth the effort. There's a gift shop and restrooms here as well. The other popular spot we tried was Jordan Pond, which sports a restaurant and carriage roads. Funny how the publicity pictures always create a tranquil impression. Well, here's the parking lot. And this is at the tail end of the season. Bring patience and time to the spot if you don't have a restaurant reservation in advance. Just saying. Still, it was lovely just to take in the sights, with our own stops along the way. It was definitely the most relaxed way to go. If we return to Bar Harbor, we may well do exactly the same thing. We certainly have more Arcadia Park to explore. And more lobster to eat, for a price. Just remember, it's locally sourced and excellent quality. Have you been to Bar Harbor? What did you decide to do here? Let's trade notes in the comments.